Hello, I'm Vanessa, co-founder of Black Girl Knit Club. We started Black Girl Knit Club in 2019 after realising there was a lack of diversity for women of colour, especially in the craft industry. During this time, we really just wanted to encourage people to change up the routine and add some more creativity and make something. We hope you like this. Over to you, Simone. Thank you, Vanessa. My name is Simone and I'm the other half of the Black Girl Knit Club. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own knitted jersey teacup cosy. Um, so follow our tutorial and hope you enjoy it. The materials you will need for this are jersey yarn, about 10 grams each of two different colours, 12 millimetre knitting needles, the thread, scissors, one tapestry needle and a 30 centimetre strip of ribbon of your choice. If you want to learn how to make your own t-shirt yarn you can follow the link below and if you don't have knitting needles, obviously everyone's in isolation at home, but you can actually also use um, pencils or pens. Um, so follow our tutorial and hope you enjoy it. Step 1. Start by creating a slip knot on your left hand needle. Then cast on 19 stitches onto your left hand needle. Step 2. On the first row, we're going to knit all the stitches on the needle. Step 3. For the second row, now you're going to purl all of the stitches. This is going to create the stocking stitch. Step 4. Now we're going to repeat steps 2 and 3. So you're going to knit a whole row. Then working at the back of your knitting, purl a whole row. You should now have four rows of stocking stitch in your first colour of jersey yarn. Step 5. Now we're going to start knitting in your second colour. To do this, like step 1, create a slip knot at the end of the needle. Now knit the new yarn across the whole of the next row. Step 6. Working at the back of your knitting, purl all the way across the row. Step 7. Repeating steps 5 and 6, you're going to knit another row. Then, 
working at the back of your knitting, purl the next row across all of your stitches. You should now have eight rows of stocking stitch in the two colors. Step eight. You can now begin to cast off your knitting. To cast off, knit two stitches, then take the first stitch over the second stitch. You should now have one stitch left in your needle. We're now going to continue to cast off the rest of your knitting. When you get to the end and you have one stitch left on your knitting needle, cut your yarn from the ball and take the yarn through the last loop, making sure it's secure so your knitting doesn't unravel. You should now have a complete rectangle for your mug, cosy. Step 9. Cut down the tail ends on either side of the rectangle. Then use your fingers to weave the ends through the back of the purl loop. Make sure it's secure. Then cut the ends off with scissors. Then repeat this on the other side. Step 10. Now turn your rectangle to the back of your work, the bumpy side of your knitting. Take your needle and thread and sew the bottom three loops together. Then tie in a knot to secure it. Step 11. Turn your knitting back to the outside and put the knitting mug cosy over your chosen mug. Take your piece of ribbon and thread it through the top two corners of the rectangle. Then tie it in a bow and snip off any long ends. And here you have it, our knitted teacup cosy. Perfect for your cup of teas. Please show us what you've made. You can add us at Black Girl Knit Club on Instagram or Craft Council as well. We'd love to see what you've made. Um, and thank you for tuning into our tutorial.